Welcome to Bonehead Guitars. Let's go build some junk. Alright, before we glue up, that's the last thing we can do today. Um, I want to get this on the belt sander and just clean up these edges a little bit. Make sure they're nice and clean. And get the angle grinder out and get our carve started in, on the, the ends. And then we're ready to glue the wings on and uh, wait for a truss rod. Well, we can still thickness the head down, but kind of running out of time today. So, that's the plan. My depth of carve. My don't go below. Don't go below this line. Line. So we'll carve down to there. <clears throat> camera battery was uh, charging and last night I couldn't help myself I wanted to start carving the neck so so I didn't record it
some hardware in today. <clears throat> I already had a couple knobs I plan on using, but I uh, got some long shank, uh, long shaft pots from CB Giddy. A cheap Tom from Amazon. Looks like it lines up though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Good old Tom. A jack plate. I've used I've been doing the in-pin jacks instead of a jack plate. I thought now's a good time to get a jack plate. And some fairly cheap tuners, which are slightly bigger than what I'm used to, so I'm gonna have to re-drill a little bit. I also got him a little tuner and a little gig bag that is going to be just about perfect. So, yay! So, yeah. We need the truss rod. I need that the most right now. And uh, a little mini humbucker, which I'm fairly certain the it's, I believe, a P90 size ring. So anyway, we need to fit our tuners, get the stop tail put in place, uh, at least get temporary slots on the nut, uh, put a temporary 12th fret in, and uh, get a couple strings on it so we can intonate and place the bridge. Yeah, so there's a lot we can do before we get the truss rod. Um, the fretboard is still just taped on at the moment, because, <laughs> I don't know, I wanted it there. Alright, it drew me a line like inch and three quarters behind where the bridge ought to be I believe now I I just placed it on here and looking at the front holes and the back holes I'm kinda eyeballing center when nothing else would work out yeah Now, ah, guess what just showed up? LMI has a wide variety of crazy truss rod links. And they really love popcorn. Styrofoam popcorn. <laughs> awesome. However, after the last time, I'm still scared shitless to do a head-mounted truss rod. Just ever so slightly loose, and uh, <clears throat> once we lacquer that thing up, it'll be about perfect. Looks to me like the other one is pretty well centered, so off we go.